Hello, my name is Namade Cooper, and I'll be presenting our abstract entitled A Pediatric Trauma Bootcamp Pilot Program. Trauma is a leading cause of morbidity and mortality among children worldwide. Resuscitations around traumas are a multidisciplinary event that can be co complex and high stress, but also high consequence. Initial care of trauma patients is critical and errors can lead to significant consequences. Although trauma is a significant cause of morbidity and mortality, it is often cited as a deficiency in pediatric training. The objective of the study was to understand our learners' baseline experience levels in caring for pediatric trauma patients in order to tailor future educational interventions. We also wanted to create and implement a pilot trauma bootcamp designed to enhance learners' knowledge, skills, and attitudes related to multiple elements of pediatric trauma care. We developed and piloted a multidisciplinary trauma bootcamp consisting of various interactive didactic sessions and hands-on procedural skill stations, some of which are listed. Each participant completed a pre and post survey to indicate their prior experience and confidence performing various tasks. We had a total of 48 participants, a mixture of nurses and physicians, but mainly physicians, and from four different specialties. This is an example of a survey question related to leading a pediatric trauma. The graph on the left shows how many participants have actually led a trauma. As you can see, 14 participants have never led a trauma. The graph on the right refers to confidence in leading a trauma. Blue bars are pre-bootcamp results and orange bars are post-bootcamp results. Related to the question, I feel confident in leading a team in pediatric trauma, pre-bootcamp, only 46 participants agreed or strongly agreed with that statement. In the post-bootcamp surveys, that number increased to 78%. This graph shows pre and post results related to participants who agreed or strongly agreed to being confident and performing various procedures. The procedures on the graph are chest tube placement, difficult airways, peripheral IV placement, IO placement, as well as tourniquet placement. As you can see, there is an increase in confidence from pre boot camp in the blue and post boot camp in the orange results. In conclusion, our pilot pediatric trauma bootcamp was well received by participants, improved learners' knowledge and skill and confidence related to key aspects of pediatric trauma care. We recognize confidence doesn't always equate to competence, so future studies are needed to prospectively assess actual clinical performance in these tasks. Thank you.